Hello Aquarius, I hope you're doing amazing today. Thank you for being here. Let's get right to your reading. Aquarius, if you are here, you're meant to be. So let's find out why. Did I break a nail? No, okay. I thought I did it a little too hard that time. <laughs> but uh, Aquarius, who am I connecting with? Who is in your energy? Who are you dealing with? Who's thinking about you? Let's find out. What do you need to know? What's going on? Okay, so first card, we have my life is not as together as it seems. All right, my life is not as together as it seems. What else we have? I bury myself in work to forget you. Okay, what else on the bottom we have? I love you. So somebody here is definitely hiding feelings for you. I mean, this could be a past person, somebody that you've already been with, but this could also be a new person. This could be even somebody that you haven't even met yet. This could be future influence. So, I mean, pay attention. You never know. So, um, yeah, I bury myself in work to forget you. My life is not as together as it seems. It's like they're very distracted. They're trying to distract themselves. I'm getting like a very avoidant kind of person. <laughs> maybe they're afraid of love. Maybe maybe they just feel like they have a lot going on. But they, of course, they, they have these feelings. I love you underneath. And I get this feeling they can only ignore that for so long. And if this is a new person, I know I love you is a little deep, but you know, it could just mean that they, they, they're crushing on you. They want you. Okay, so what we have, we have communication. Okay, so there could be some kind of communication coming in. Maybe they're gonna just give in and tell you how they feel. Like I said, I get the feeling that you know, they're trying to avoid this, you know, for whatever reason, maybe they're just, you know, maybe there's just a lot going on in their life right now. And they feel like a relationship just ain't it for them at this moment. But I just get the feeling that they can't suppress these feelings for you for much longer. So let's see what else we have going on here. This first card, it's going to represent you. Like, where are you at in the situation? How do you feel about this person? Okay, so Aquarius, what is going on with you? We have the two of wands. Okay, what else we got? We have the king of cups, water sign, energy. I know you're not a water sign. It's all about the, the energy that the card represents. And also don't mind the gender of the card. Again, all about the, the energy. <laughs> so what else? We have the ace of cups. So. <laughs> It definitely seems that you have some feelings for this person you know whether again whether it's new old but there is this feeling of sucking it up a little bit you know maybe thinking about moving on even though you do have these feelings for them as well because like i said you know everything that's been presented here so far it seems like they're very busy maybe kind of avoidant and obviously you don't need to sit around waiting on someone to come around although you know we have communication there maybe they are about to come around but you don't need to wait around you know do your thing live your life you know also with this two of wands it's almost like you looking the other way for now if they come around cool if they don't i'm okay with that too because there is this kind of emotional uh, maturity here you know it's like yeah i have feelings but if they're not gonna, you know, come come forward, come forth, <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna peace out, you know? So, what's on their side? We have the world. The first thing that came to mind was that is they feel like they have the world on their shoulders. So, what else? We have the Ace of Wands. <laughs> Definitely attracted to you. It's funny, there's aces on both sides. So I want to say for a lot of you, this is probably new. Or if it's not a new person, I guess it could be an old person and you just want a, a new beginning. Or at least that's been on their mind. We have the Five of Cups. What else? We have the Star. Aquarius energy. So there is this... this feeling of a new beginning. I get the feeling that maybe if this is a new person, 
Um, I get the feeling that maybe they even told you like, hey, I can't have a relationship right now. That I just, you know, I'm not looking for anything serious, something along those lines. And they're now they're regretting that. They're regretting that a lot. Um, but they definitely want to open up. Again, the stars making me think of the communication card here. They have something they want to say, some kind of vulnerability, some kind of release like I notice that breath that I just took they just they need some kind of relief here you know maybe this world on their shoulders is that regret that they feel for telling you like hey now's not a good time for me you know blah 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 excuse 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 honestly it feels like it was just an excuse because you know possibly they were afraid I definitely see it like with this I I bury myself in work to forget you it's like they try to distract themselves so what why did they what are they running away from here what's the deal we have the queen of cups <laughs> so we have the king and queen of cups here so i want to say mutual interest but the obstacle is the queen of cups love opening their heart maybe this person struggles with vulnerability that's why you know the, the star card maybe they regret not showing more emotion they may have come off like you know, they may have come off like things were more physical even with that Ace of Wands when really there was more to it than that, or there is more to it than that. So what else with them? We have the Queen of Swords, air sign energy. So yeah, they, despite the fact that they have these deeper feelings, they came off, they may have came off, or may have come off a little cold. They shut it down like before it could even begin. But like I said, that regret, it's kind of haunting them a little bit here. So I kind of, I feel like they're going to come back around. That could also be why the world's there, you know, cycles coming back around. Okay, so what else needs to be known? We have the chariot incoming cancer energy. We have death, Scorpio energy. We have the queen of pentacles, earth sign energy. I want to get one more. They have the Three of Wands. They're definitely incoming. <clears throat> um, with that Chariot, the Three of Wands, it's almost, you know, the Chariot can be a very fast energy. It's like, yeah, they have this determination, this desire to come toward you. But with that Three of Wands, I'm almost getting this, like, hesitant feeling. It's like before they take this leap of faith off the cliff, they're taking a second to think about it you know that could also be why that queen of pentacles is there i just get this very like grounded okay let me think about this let me like gather my thoughts here and with death there's this there is this kind of i want to say transition i don't know why i want to say transition but i guess because of like them going from cold to warm but it may take some time still I don't feel like this is something that's going to happen like tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, maybe for some of you, maybe it could. Uh, maybe you've already kind of, it's been a while, but I do feel like this could be coming up, maybe even in Scorpio season. I know that's kind of a, a while away, but but they, they are thinking about it. Right now, like right here, right now, this is heavily on their mind. Lots of regret, heaviness with the regret. Because I feel like, you know, whoever I'm connecting with today, they told you, you know, I'm not looking for anything serious, you know, I, I'm just, you know, my life is too chaotic, whatever their excuse was. Again, it was just all excuses. And I don't know what the hell happened with the coloring of my camera. There we go. Okay. <laughs> but um, yeah, they came up with these excuses, but it was to hide their vulnerability. Okay. But I see that changing at some point. And then being a lot more warm, you know, with that Queen of Pentacles. I feel like before they may have even, like, come off kind of cold. They may have, um, may have even, like, tried to convince themselves that they're not interested and by that kind of pushed you away. But now I just get this warmth. I don't know. For some reason, for some of you, this is a random message with that Queen of Pentacles. I just, I feel like they might give you a gift particularly like maybe on your birthday or some like special occasion. Hmm. Okay. So let's look at a potential outcome here. 
potential outcome slash advice. We have the Emperor, Aries energy. We have the Knight of Swords. There's that communication incoming. It's like they're going to suck it up and they're going to come forward. Because I think they realize that you're not you're not going to approach them. Because like, like I said, you're being emotionally mature about this. You're holding back. You're not chasing after them. You're just kind of in this energy of like, well, they know where to find me if they want me. Okay. Although there are feelings there, you're not, you're not chasing after them, like I said. But they realize that. And I think that's what's digging at them the most. Because they know that it's in their hands. But I see them sucking it up, like I said, and coming toward you. We have the Ace of Swords, so all about communication. You know, completely reflecting this card here. They can't take it. I just feel like they can't take it anymore. They're tired of holding back, you know, with this Strength card here. Leo energy. We have the Four of Swords. Yeah, they're tired of trying to ignore these feelings. Because it seems like the longer time is between the two of you, if that makes sense, the, the more time that passes, there we go, that's, a, that's, that's how humans say it. <laughs> the more time that passes, the harder this gets for them the more they feel like you're slipping away and they have to say something. And I just, I feel like they're getting to a point where they're at, they're at the edge of this cliff and they're like, okay, it's now or never. And I feel like that's approaching pretty soon. Okay, so let's get some more cards. Anything else, anything I missed, anything else that needs to be known? Okay. We have the Magician, which I, I saw as I was shuffling, so I guess that's important. Again, them standing in their power. But I also kind of feel like this is kind of on your side. Like, you standing in your power is kind of man manifesting them in. Like you detaching your energy, you having that emotional maturity to realize, you know what, I don't have to like wait around for them to get their shit together <laughs> to figure out what we have here. You know, I'm going to, you know, look the other way. I'm going to pay attention to other things. And that's kind of what brings them in. Because like I said, that you doing that, you looking the other way, <sighs> it's making this regret in their energy even heavier. Okay. We have the Eight of Pentacles. <laughs> they can't ignore it. They're, that makes me think of, I bury myself in work to forget you. To forget you. Yeah, it's not working. Any distraction that they have, it may not necessarily be work. It could just be, you know, them keeping themselves busy in some way. Even if they go on dates with other people, it's like all they see is you. They can't distract themselves. We have the Ten of Wands. There's that emotional burden right next to that Eight of Pentacles. It's not happening. <laughs> they can't distract themselves. Then we have this High Priestess, Pisces energy. So it's funny. We have the Magician and we have the High Priestess. To me, the Magician and High Priestess are kind of divine counterparts. So this is, I feel, a deep spiritual connection. I just heard, <laughs> this sounds kind of weird, maybe kind of cheesy, but I just heard that they feel you and maybe you feel them even though you're not together. So there is that kind of like, there is that, that bond, okay? And for some of you, it may be hard to look away for now, you know, because of that. And I hear, I'm hearing that somebody here might be like beating themselves down because they, they're struggling to move on or to look at uh, to focus on other things but no that's not com like your fault because there is that connection here they're actually feeling the same way and that could be why that regret is getting heavier because they feel you know for those of you who are looking at something else or focusing on other things they can feel your energy detaching and again that could be why that that it's manifesting them coming in We have the four of wands, again, soulmate, like you mirroring each other, 
even if you're far apart. Okay, so we have the Five of Pentacles. I feel like that just describes what I said. You mirroring each other, even though you're far apart. Because there is there's a, a really deep bond here. They just need to open up. They need to show that vulnerability. That's what they struggle with the most. And I feel like that's, you know, why it didn't take off. It, it stopped before it truly began, even though you felt this intense connection with them, maybe even right off the bat. Know that they felt it too. And that's why they, they closed off because like, damn, that scared the shit out of them. All right. Okay, what helps? We have the sun. There's going to be this opening up. And we do have this ten of cups here at the bottom. What's under that? We have the two of swords. It's all about them making this choice to open up, to be vulnerable, to say what they, how they feel. You know, whether, this, again, whether this is an old person, new person, this could be a future situation for you. We have the tower. It's almost like they have to have this mental breakdown. <laughs> I know that sounds kind of uh, bad, but they, it's almost like they have to have this mental breakdown from this burden to finally come forth. Because I, I, I totally feel that in their energy, like they just can't take it anymore. It gets to a point where they can't take it anymore. And that's when they come forward. That's when everything becomes clear. They get everything off their chest. They're a lot more warm, comforting, like the sun. You know, this is somebody they could potentially have a family with or get married to. You know, with the four of wands and the sun. It's just that we all have our shit to deal with. And it seems like their shit to deal with is their vulner vulnerability, opening up, showing emotion. And I think that was already like a, uh, their weak point, showing emotion. And then of course, whenever they come across you, this like deep spiritual connection, that scared the shit out of them because it's like, well, if I want this, I have to open up or I'm gonna completely destroy this. And you know, there could have been some kind of self-sabotage where it's like, okay, well, I know I'm gonna, I, I know I'm gonna fuck this up, so I may as well just push it away. So there could be something like that happening as well. But, you know, I see them coming in, honestly. I'll get a couple more cards before I leave, just in case I missed anything else. We have, I don't know if you can see this very well, but it's like somebody looking through a window at somebody. They're definitely feeling left out with this Five of Pentacles. You know, kind of, kind of the same energy. They're feeling left out. They're, they feel like they're forced to, to watch you from afar. And the, the longer that goes on, the, the more they can't take it. Because they really can't ignore you. Yeah, we have this eclipse. It's a temporary situation. They're coming back out. I mean, the sun. It's like right now you may not be getting anything from them. But at some point, the sun's going to come back out. You know, just like an e eclipse. The moon's only in front of the sun. There's only darkness for a little while. And then everything is lit up again. So, again, there may be a period where you come across this. Like I said, this could be a new person. You you hit it off really well. You feel this intense in connection. They give you some bullshit excuse. And communication may stop for a little while. But only for a little while because they can't take it anymore. And then they come back around because this, you know, this is a soulmate. I, I know, I feel like for some of you, this could be someone you end up marrying, you know, with the four of wands, the sun, but it's really, it's up to them and how they're going to work on this issue. <laughs> like I said, there could be some kind of breakdown that needs to happen. So. And I feel like it's approaching. I mean, this is in the energy right here, right now. So that is your reading today, Aquarius. I think I'm going to leave it there. Somebody's coming in. You know, obviously they have free will. They could choose to keep living in this like 
emotional distress not having you. But I, I don't think they can go on for much longer, to be honest. It's pretty heavy, all right? And I kind of see this impulsive communication coming in. I keep hearing like some, around some kind of special occasion. So I don't know if this is a birthday, anniversary, a holiday of some kind. I don't know. But there we go. That is your reading today, Aquarius. If this resonated or if you just enjoyed the reading, leave some banana emojis in the comments below. I do also provide or offer personal readings. The, my email address is in the description box, bananachipstarot at protonmail.com. You can email me there, ask me about the readings, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.